Julia's life is not very different from the lives of millions of people in Latin America. She is a hard worker who struggles daily to distance herself from poverty and improve her quality of life. But although her life is similar to millions of other Latin Americans, Julia made a decision years ago that set her apart. She decided to stop subsisting on a salary and start her own business. Over time, she became an entrepreneur. Julia's journey has not been an easy one, considering that a large percentage of businesses like hers fail during their first year. So along with Julia and the majority of Latin Americans' quality of life in mind, Fundis has reached out to nearly the entire continent, creating programs designed to improve the competitiveness and ensure the ongoing success of thousands of micro, small, and medium-sized companies. In Mexico alone, we have guaranteed the ongoing success of more than a thousand retail businesses that have created new jobs and increased their sales on average by 32%. More than 400 micro-entrepreneurs from Guatemala City took part in important research that helped define their businesses and proposed plans to improve their competitiveness. The Entrepreneurial Development Program was responsible for the creation of more than 100 new businesses in the Soyapango community. They have reached estimated monthly sales of $220,000. A successful plan in Costa Rica strengthened the entrepreneurship of women's micro-businesses. Women receive training and guidance. In Panama, more than a thousand people receive training in business ethics. Their inclusion in an entrepreneur database will also guarantee them follow-up to ensure they are implementing the acquired knowledge. The creation of export networks in Colombia has powerfully influenced more than 100 businesses in 15 different sectors. They have gained access into new markets, improved their business performance, and created new jobs. The small tourist businesses in Venezuela, known as small inns or posadas, have developed collective business strategies, which have led to increased occupancy rates and greater financial security for the owners. In Chile, a supplier development program has achieved better financing, security, and occupational health in 27 businesses for suppliers in the Huachipato Iron and Steel Corporation. Small producers of Yama wool in the high Bolivian plains have expanded their monthly production from 3 to 8 tons, decreased their energy consumption, and sped up their production times. 46 SMEs in three regions of Argentina further developed their roles as Tecpetrol suppliers by better organizing their operation, implementing management plans, and decreasing their administrative costs, which have increased their billing by 8%. But aside from changing small businesses from the inside out, Fundis works to transform the conditions of the business environment. The Procedure Simplification Program, SIMTRA, has achieved this goal in dozens of municipalities throughout Central America. These important efforts by Fundis over several years have helped position the future of Julia and millions of businesses like hers on the government and international agenda. But there is still so much to do, so Fundis continues its mission, increasing the efficiency and productivity of every business, strengthening value chains, creating regional networks and improving the business environment all over the continent to benefit millions of Latin Americans. So Fundis strives towards its final objective, improving businesses and transforming lives.